Hey everyone, Colin Smith here from PhotoshopCafe.com. Today I'm going to be reviewing the brand new BenQ 32 inch 4K professional designer monitor. Now, full disclosure, this monitor was given to me to do this review. Um, I wasn't told what to say, so I'll still be 100% honest. So this monitor is an affordable 32 inch monitor for professional designers. Before we get into the specs, let's jump and look at some really cool stuff. But then one of the things I like about this is the flexibility. Once it's put up on the stand, look at this, I can slide up and down on the stand very, very easily. I can rotate the monitor, I can tilt it, I can do all the things that I would like to do. So as far as positioning it, it's great. It's got an anti-reflective screen and it also has very, very good color consistency. In fact, that's one of the things that BenQ is known for is the color consistency from corner to corner. At the back here, we've got different buttons that enable us to go into different sources and uh, set up different modes on the screen as well as a little joystick here. Now, aside from the color and all that kind of stuff that we'll get into in a second, I wanna show you guys something is my favorite feature on this monitor and it's called KVM. KVM is keyboard, video, and mouse. So what it means is I can connect through a single USB-C cable, I can connect different devices to this monitor and in a touch of a switch, use all the same peripherals and everything and go between say two PCs or a PC and a Mac or two Macs. Let's check it out. I mean, I really love this feature. So right now I'm running this on Windows, but if I wanna plug in my MacBook Pro, this is the M1 Max MacBook Pro, so it's, it's the newest of the uh, more high-end MacBook Pros. All right, so it looks like I've been running Logic on here. So what happens if I go ahead and I'm just gonna plug this directly into the USB-C cable. So right now this Mac is working. Now, I can just tap a button here and what it's gonna do is it's gonna look at the different modes and look at that right there. I've got my MacBook Pro running on there. So look at this. All right, great. I'm actually using the, <laughs> the mouse. All right, let's go in here. We had Logic Pro running. Let's go full screen, look at that. So I'm using the mouse right now. All right, so let's test this. If I hit the space bar, just a little recording I've been working on. All right, so I can clearly use the mouse and the keyboard on here. But let's try something else. What if the Wacom tablet, no, look at that. The Wacom tablet actually works on here too. So I've got one Wacom tablet, one mouse, one keyboard attached to this monitor and at the touch of one button, I can go between my PC and my Mac that easily. So I could do with this with two Macs if I wanted. I could have my Mac Pro set up and then when I wanna work on my MacBook Pro, I can just plug it in, use all the power of that M1 Max chip, but using a nice 32 inch monitor, mouse and keyboard, just like a regular computer. So I'm just using the processing on the computer. Very nice. But now I've got a question. I'm curious about whether or not this is gonna work. Let's take this a step further because the iPad Pro, they claim it can run screens and things. So what happens if I unplug this USB-C cable and I plug this into my iPad? I wonder if it, what? Hello. That is amazing. Right now, my iPad is working on this screen. Okay, so what happens if I, look at that, the mouse works. So let me click onto here and um, I'm gonna do some notes. This is working, <laughs> that's amazing. And you're like, well, well the Wacom tablet, well, no, no, I, I have a, a, an iPad with the, with the pencil, so. All right, and if I wanna go back to that uh, Windows, all I gotta do is just tap that little button here and look at that, now we're back on Windows again. So I love the fact that this can work as a hub as well as a monitor. So, you know, if you want to plug in your iPad, you want to plug in your MacBook Pro or other computers, or maybe you've got one Windows and one PC tower and you don't want to have two sets of everything, now you're set up with this monitor. So I really love that. BenQ PD3205U is a professional and ultra high definition designer monitor, gamut space of 99% sRGB, Rec 709. Out of the box color accuracy of minus 3 AE. The color and brightness at hundreds of subregions are fine tuned to achieve consistent color across the monitor. Video format support for HDR 10 
one of the things I really love about the BenQ monitor is, the, is this little puck. This little puck lets you pre-program some of these different numbers to do things. So I could say have number one set to sRGB mode, number two set to Rec 709, which is a standard for video, and yes, it supports that as well, and, uh, and some of the different modes on here. So you can quickly go between them with the puck. You can also control the on-screen with the puck as well. Um, as well as being able to download software and install it on there. This brings up my on-screen display. And as you can see, we can adjust things. You know, we can even do a picture in picture. So I have my iPad display now and my Windows display on at the same time. That's pretty crazy. So the left side we've set to the HDMI. Right side, let's set that to USB-C. And look at that. So now I can literally have these side by side if I want. And so we can change here the size of our picture in picture. We can change the position. You can see there's a lot of different things we can do with that. So here's the different color modes. Of course, we can change these in dual view. Different color modes in here. We can control the brightness, sharpness. There's other kind of interesting color modes in here as well, such as uh, CAD and CAM, what it does is it just really increases the contrast. This is when you're doing like working with line art and doing CAD work or even with some 3D, it makes it easy to see those details. Um, we've got animation, low blue light. So if you're working late, you want to save your eyes a little bit and you can see there's some different options in dark room when you're in a very dark room, obviously. KVM switch is keyboard, video and mouse. And notice what we've got it set up here. We could set it up for different things. This will work from display ports, HDMI, USB-C, so I could, um, so it gives me more options. And audio, this has built-in speakers, and it works when you switch devices. Uh, the audio will actually start playing through the monitor. So you don't even need two sets of speakers, you can actually just have the speakers on here. Or you, you actually have a speaker output jack as well. So if you want to have external speakers set up, um, you could do that too. So the custom key is for the puck. You can program the puck, so you can program the buttons to do different things, uh, which makes it very convenient to set it up for your particular way of working. And the price point for this is $799 in the US. So this could be a great option for someone that is looking just either A, for a monitor, or B, you're using something like a Mac Mini or the Mac Studio, and you're looking for a more affordable monitor. Um, this is a great option. So as far as the color accuracy, BenQ is renowned for having really accurate color. Um, it actually comes out of the box of a calibration chart. So a lot of people I know are actually using BenQ monitors. They're very happy, particularly the bang for the buck. So if you're a hobbyist looking for a high quality display without breaking the bank, or you're doing work from home, I highly recommend this monitor because it's versatility and the performance and it's color consistency. So anyway, guys, that's the 32 inch professional designer monitor from BenQ. Uh, let me know in your comments underneath what you guys think about this. And if you're new, welcome to Photoshop Cafe. Consider hitting that subscribe button, turn on notifications, and you won't miss any videos from me. And uh, do me a favor, hit that like button. And until next time, I'll see you at the cafe.